morning, Cali gang. What is poppin'? It is Wednesday, and we have two more days, two more shifts left until I'm out of here. Right now, it is currently 7.13 in the morning, and I'm on the way to Starbucks so I can get this damn video uploaded. But guess what? Hey, internet's gonna be way faster real soon because tomorrow on Thursday, I got Frontier coming to install the Wi-Fi. So that means your boy is gonna be vlogging and uploading on this channel frequently. So you guys ain't losing me even after I quit this job. You guys will still be here and I will still be there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it's not too crazy today. Make sure you guys drop a like, drop a comment to boost the algorithm to get this in front of more viewers like y'all. And also hit the description box down below and follow those links. Let's go ahead and roll that intro, baby. Bruh, something's going on with Starbucks Wi-Fi. This is like the second Starbucks that I've been to this morning. It's saying that they cannot secure the network or whatever some shit. It's not allowing me to connect. So now I gotta switch it up. I gotta go to McDonald's. Yeah, I might as well grab me a breakfast while I'm there. And I'm trying to get this video uploaded before eight o'clock or at least before I end up getting a call. But unfortunately, I'm not able to connect to any of these Starbucks Wi-Fi's. Fucking idiot. So now, I'm here at McDonald's. I'm hoping it connects. Let's see, I haven't used McDonald's Wi Fi in a very long time. Alright. Perfect. There you go. Let's see how fast this uploads. Bro, the internet at McDonald's is way, way, way faster than Starbucks. This is uploaded in quicker time than it would if I was at Starbucks. So I hope you guys enjoy that video, man. Let's get back to the truck. It's crap. I literally just came back from the shop. I went to go get gas, and then my truck is doing that shit again. It's slowing down and it's doing that beeping. Remember when in that, that episode that I did where I was driving on the side of the freeway, like on the shoulder lane? It's doing it again. going super super slow crap and I don't even know what to do again and it's happening in the same spot where it started that same episode it's doing the same thing do I turn around go back to the shop oh my gosh I really just might have to to be honest yeah oh my goodness this is this is a mess this is a mess. And you guys, I ended up running a call, but I didn't press record. That was my fault. Um, but so far, I only did one tow, and then I came over here. Well, I did a little shopping for the house, but I came over here to fill up gas, and this happened again. It happened the last time, too, like when I went to go fuel, uh, fuel up, this happened after fueling up. So I don't know what's going on. You guys hear that beeping? So yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this truck around again and go back to the shop. It's horrible. Hopefully, they can hook up to it. Um, hopefully, man. Let's go. So I went to the shop and um, supervisor was telling me that his computer's still down. There's nothing that he can do about it because in order for this to work properly, he needs to hook the computer up to it and delete the code. So I guess there's like a code on this truck and the reason why it's doing what it's doing. Now, usually you park the truck and you need to regenerate it by hitting this regenerator button. So you park it and regenerate, but we already tried doing that before. Mechanic tried regenerating it, but this button right here don't work. Or well, for some reason, it's not connecting and not giving a signal to regenerate, so. What he told me was, there's nothing we could do about it, you know? And he goes, when's your last day? I go, Sunday. And he goes, well, you know, just, at least you have AC. <laughs> he said, at least I have AC. Well, I guess that's cool to get me through the day. I got about four more hours until I'm off, so what am I gonna do, just chill for four hours? I already told dispatch I'm going to the shop. Nothing I can do, I can't tow like this. I can't. 
man, I tried towing like this one time, like in last week. I towed a car and I was going super slow, dude. Like, especially with the load, especially with the load on top of my bed, this goes super slow. And to me, it's not safe because there's cars that are coming fast behind me, you know, and um, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend towing in this kind of condition. It's just not safe for me. It's not safe for the vehicle that's on my on my truck. It's not safe for, you know, the passenger. You know, it's not safe for any of us to be going this slow, like on the freeway, at a stoplight. At a stoplight? Man, this thing is super slow at a stop. As soon as I accelerate, we're barely taking off. You can run, look, listen. You can run faster than this truck. You can definitely run way fast. I could run faster than this truck. I could definitely run faster than this truck, man. So it's, this is not good. So I think I'm just gonna do what I did the last time when this happened. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna chill at home. There's nothing I can do. See you guys in a little bit. So since I guess I'm not gonna be working for the rest of the shift, we might as well start the vlogging, huh? So right now I'm on the way to Chase Bank. I gotta go pull $300 out, give it to my fiance. She could take care of her duties. You guys can spend time with me at the house, chill with my son and my girl. Show you guys what I did to the place. Still in the process of uh, arranging the place, you know, getting furniture and stuff like that. But so far all I did was uh, move some boxes around because we're gonna put it in the storage. Thank you. Crazy that can storm and rain and be all crazy out here and then all of a sudden be a sunny beautiful day but it's kind of warm it's not like it's very breezy I am more used to like the breeze and stuff like that because of where I'm from you know where I'm from you could wear a sweater it'll still be sunny it'll still be cool at the same time you know? oh I left my lights on oh well I'm leaving my hazards on as well as my my beacon lights on while I'm driving so people can go around me because I notice when I just leave like my hazards on people still drive behind me like like I'm not going slow so I make sure I leave my beacons on even though I'm not supposed to you know they say turn turn your lights off when you're driving but in my case I have a reason to because I'm going super slow all right let's get back on the road now I am avoiding I am avoiding the highways I'm taking streets because on the highway I'm gonna be super super slow so let's go Funny, it gets me every single time like it feels like I'm going fast when I'm just barely gassing it but as soon as I pedal to the floor like it's the slowest shit ever the slowest shit ever it's telling me to take citrus to baseline to Sierra all the way down so supervisor is telling dispatch Josh is ready he left the yard already keep him local with the slow truck you guys do not understand and I told them this truck is not going to be able to handle with how slow this thing is. The takeoff is horrible at a stop. Literally maxing under 15 miles per hour on the street. Imagine with a the load. They still want me to run calls going this slow. Under 15 miles per hour without a load. Can you imagine if I put a car on here how slow I'll go? 5, 10 miles per hour going this slow? You kidding me? AAA really needs to like get this contract off of them. They really need to just take this company out because this is not working at all. Look at this shit. Trash. Trash. All right, you guys, here I am at my humble abode. <sighs> Kitchen still being worked on, as well as the living room still being worked on. These boxes are gonna go in the storage. This is where we are. My little son right here. My little man. Hi, baby. This is Leon Nova. AKA Nova Baby. If you guys follow the Nova Family channel, which link will be in the description below, subscribe to the Nova Family. You'll see more of him the day he was born and all that throughout the whole year um, that we've done stuff. You'll see videos of him, videos of the family, our little vacation trips and all that. But yeah, this is where we, uh, this is where we live. All of these pictures here was 
before the baby. You know, this is when it was just me and my fiance. And this right here is obviously me and my daughter and my fiance before the baby, so. <sighs> so this is it. Once I leave this job, you guys are gonna be spending more time with me, my son, and uh, our daily life and what we do. And you know, my thoughts, I'm gonna be spilling a lot of my thoughts on here. Just vlogging everyday life, keeping you guys up to date on what's going on with my life. Possibly even go running. You know, we'll go outside and we'll go do things. So you guys can see me uh, work on the home. I'm gonna be designing this place once we get the storage in place. Once we get the storage uh, and everything is gone, I'm gonna be putting up lights and all this and I'm gonna be buying, you guys can come with us to go buy, um, like I'm looking to get some canvases, some nice stuff for the walls, you know? That's what I'm looking to do. So as soon as this channel takes its transition from towing, it's gonna be going to my daily life. Look at him. Crawling in his ball pit. You like your ball pit, baby. <laughs> He's gonna be one next month, so if you guys want to see what we're doing for his uh, birthday, September 16th, subscribe to the Nova family. I'll be posting on there for his birthday. We're gonna do a little home celebration. Not sure exactly what we're gonna do, but we're gonna celebrate for our son. I just noticed this right now, but Cosmo Nova certificate that I got my fiance. This is a star that I bought for her, like a, a real star that I bought for her and we named it J2 Nova. So me and her are both Taurus. Our birthday is only one week apart in May. She's May 4th, I'm May 12th. And um, I bought this star that's in between the Taurus constellation and we named it J2 Nova. Star name. I gotta fix that though, that's bothering me. There you go, fix it. So check this out, right? I was already literally like down the street from my house and Munther was like, Josh, just bring the truck back, drop it off here at the yard, clock out and go home. It nearly took me like an hour just to get here at 15 miles per hour. And I tell him, I go, no way, um, I'll deal with it tomorrow. I'm already near my house. So it's gonna take me like a long time just to get back to the yard. So I'll bring it back tomorrow. Cause I go to work tomorrow anyways, like at four. I was like, I'll bring it back tomorrow. I text him, I go, hey, you know, I, I leave this part totally separate from the group chat because it's nobody's business. But I text him and I go, hey, if I go home, can you still take care of my pay? You know, cause it's only like an, an, another three hours until I'm off. It's 1.30 right now, I'm off at four. It's like two and a half hours, right? I go, hey, if I go home, can you still take care of my pay? You know what he says? If you're bringing the truck back to the yard, Yes. That's trash, bro. It's gonna take me like another hour or so just to get there. By the time I get there, it, I'm already almost gonna be off. Like, bro, it's trash. And then I gotta wait for my fiance to come get me with the car because she leaves, she takes the car. I don't know, man, it's, it's a mess. So all I responded back was, wow. That was my initial reaction was, wow. You know, like you want me to take this slow ass truck at 15, 10 miles per hour back to Fontana. And I live in San Bernardino, you know, I live in San Bernardino. So you want me to take it all the way back over there hella slow and I took baseline. I took the street. I didn't even take the freeway. Like I took the street. So imagine how long that took me. And he wants me to take this all the way back to the yard just to drop it off. Hell no. You know, it's not even worth it to me. Like for three hours of pay, it's not even worth it to me. I'm gonna have to take the L on this one, boys. But um, you know, tomorrow's the last day of the week and then Sunday's gonna be my last day at work. So I'm just gonna deal with it. Suck it up, deal with it. It's all good, I'm home early. I'm gonna chill, make some food, do something. Oh my God, we just took like, uh, what, a two hour nap, baby? Huh? I'm watching this thing, man. This teacher went to school drunk. She blew like a two point something and she's she's not snitching on herself at all, no matter what. Even after blowing into the breathalyzer, she's not snitching on herself. It's like, did you drink something? Because you're two times over the limit. She goes, you're two times over the limit. And then the principal and her, her homegirl that's also a teacher is there. And they go, well, if you didn't drink anything, how are you two times over the limit? But I drank something last night. <laughs> Watch this. Homeboy said it's his decision. You're gonna blow until I like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? And you're gonna keep blowing until I tell you to stop. Until I tell you to stay. Until I tell you to stop, okay? I don't know how to do this. You're just gonna blow into it like you're blowing up a balloon as soon as I take it. Take a deep breath. Blow, 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 blow,
You want to tell me the truth? How much you had to drink? I, I drank last night. There's no way you drank last night. <laughs> no, I did drink last night. Did you drink at school? Is what he's asking. Tell us the truth. I, I didn't drink at school. That wouldn't blow that right there. You blew two times the legal limit. I did? Yeah. You did? There's no drink that you have. What's in this drink? She brought the drink that she was carrying. Look. That's a Diet Coke. That's a Diet Coke. Nope. <laughs> so if I go into the classroom, am I going to tell them that I need anything else? Did you go to your booth? Did you go out and search your car? No. Not snitching on yourself. So where did the liquor come from? Did you leave campus? Not today. Not today. She didn't even leave campus, but she blew it too. Have you? They're trying to figure out where she got the drink from. This thing is pretty accurate. No, I know it is. So I, know, I know it is. She knows exactly. Like 0.24. I don't know what that means. What's Legal it? limits 0.08. Okay. Do you drink often? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, okay. Tactical shoulder bag. She drinks often, so yes. Still a few left. That thing is pretty yeah. accurate, yeah. yes. Did you leave the school and get a drink? No. Did you have drinks in your car? No. Did you have drinks in the classroom? No. Did you drink again again today? Not today, but last night. But this thing's pretty accurate. <laughs> that thing is hilarious, yo. The rule to never snitch on yourself. Never snitch on yourself, no matter what. But uh, you know, I, I, what what can you what can you say? What can you say in that situation? You have a cop, you have a principal, you have you know one of your teachers that's like one of your bestest friends there. You blew a two, a, a point two four, and no one can figure out where you got the drink, and you can't tell them where you got the drink, but you blew a point two four. But yeah, man, it's four o'clock. We fell asleep like around two as soon as I got home. <sighs> Did that little last recording that I showed you guys, and then we went to, we went to bed, we went to, fell asleep. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far, man. Sorry I didn't give you guys that one toe that I had today. It was just a regular toe. It wasn't anything too crazy. So, yeah. 3 a.m. Your expert opinion, she's under the influence. You're the expert. Well, I mean, you got my honest opinion? She's trying. I think she's probably a functioning alcoholic. <laughs> that's, that's a good way to put it. She called her a functioning alcoholic. You're the expert. What do you think? Do you think she's an influence? She's a functioning alcoholic. You want to blow one more time? Meaning she knows she knows what she's doing even if she's drunk. I just want you to be honest. I'm saying the counselor. For my stuff. Yeah, I'm that's crazy, man. If you guys want to see that, check that out on Law Crime Network. But damn, yo, what do you do in that situation? Comment down below. Are you snitching on yourself? No, of course you wouldn't, right? Because you wouldn't want to lose your job. Today, I ended up buying... You know what I like about going to Ross? You guys know the Ross that I always go to, right? I needed to buy some jeans for Amazon. Look, this thing was $8.49. $8.49 for some really nice uh, jeans. I tried them on earlier, which is why they're all crumpled up like that. But yeah, man. I mean, I'm really, really excited for this job. Like, you guys don't even know. I'm super excited. I don't have to deal with the fact that I, you know, my truck is down, whatever. I just really wish that I could take you guys with me. And unfortunately, I won't be able to take you guys with me. But I will take this camera as soon as I get out of them gates and uh, get off of work. And I'll pick this up and give you guys a quick update on how it was, what I learned, you know, what's so interesting about the job. So, you know, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe ride man it's been a while since i've been out for a run so anyways man i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm like i said i'm very very sorry for today um but tomorrow what's gonna happen is i'm gonna drop off this truck tomorrow and we're gonna see if i end up in another truck for thursday chances are they're probably gonna try to send me home which is gonna be super messed up but i don't want to get sent home tomorrow i do want to complete the remainder of my days for my last day there so i can give you guys as much content as possible which is why i'm still vlogging today despite the fact that i missed one call for you guys and despite the fact that I had uh, issues with the truck and was not able to tow, so. Still gonna pick up the camera for y'all, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed, man. Make sure you guys drop a like, drop a comment to boost the algorithm. Get this video in front of more viewers like you. And we're gonna end it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, spend some time with my son real quick. And I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for Thursday. And we'll also vlog tomorrow as well, all right? So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, man. It's about peace, love, unity, and respect. Stay strapped, peace.